So far in this chapter, just about everything we've done involved going through a web browser to manipulate files, to share them, to edit them, with the exception of occasionally opening up a desktop version of Word or Excel or PowerPoint uh, to make changes. However, there is a sync button you'll notice at the top of your OneDrive, as long as your organization allows it anyway, that allows you to sync your files to File Explorer for two reasons, convenience and offline availability. So let's imagine you've never synced before. The first time you click sync, it's gonna prompt you just as if you were opening up a desktop app saying, hey, this website wants to open something on your computer. You say, okay, that sounds good. Click open. And you only have to do this once, the very first time you set up your OneDrive sync. There we go, we can see we have a OneDrive folder already on our C drive. We click next and walk through this wizard. Okay, we can back up folders. Now, a lot of your organizations will take care of this for you, so you may not see these options, but if you do, it's just asking, would you like your desktop, your documents, and your pictures to also be backed up to your OneDrive? So basically, you'd be converting those to cloud locations. So I'll say that's okay and continue. There we go. I'll keep going through this wizard a little bit more. There we go. So I want to pause here because there are three statuses that documents you sync could have once you start doing this. And uh, basically they're just online only, which means they're cloud-based, and if you lost internet, you don't have access on this device, which means you probably opened it, and so it's been on your machine locally, uh, so you can still edit it offline. And then always available just means that you've explicitly said, I want this file to be available offline, but you didn't necessarily open the file. You just wanted to quickly say, this or these files need to be available if I lose my internet. So I'll click next. And then I'll skip the mobile app and I'll say later and open my folder. So quite a few steps, right? That was a long wizard, but it's worth it. So now that I've got offline access to my files, notice if I just put these side by side, I know it's kind of hard to see in the background there, but they are lining up. Now notice most of these files have a cloud icon and some of them have a person icon next to them. So of course, if there's a person, that means that that file is shared. And if it's just a cloud, or if it's a cloud and person, that's my reminder that that's an online only file. So let's go ahead and open up the annual financial report draft that we've been working on. Notice this icon changed from a cloud into a white circle with a green check mark. So I can see that it's shared and that it's available offline. And it's just because I opened it. Now that it's open, I can make some changes, maybe adding in the year here. My autosave is still working just as if I had opened it from the browser, so nothing different there. And I simply close out. So all I really had to do was open that file and then it made it available offline. If I lost my internet right now, that same version I just edited is available to me and I can keep making changes to it offline. And the way that works is when I reconnect to the internet, all the changes that I made while offline push up all at once. And it works in reverse too. If my colleagues are making changes to a shared file while I'm offline, I'll pull down all of those changes when I reconnect. Really great feature there. Um, also, if you want to choose a bunch of files without having to open each and every one of them to keep them offline, just select the files. Maybe they're spread out a little bit that you need offline, keeping in mind that this is gonna take up space on your machine. Right click and choose always keep on this device. Okay, when I do that, notice all of these cloud icons are gonna change into dark green circles with white check marks. And then that also means, just like the white circle with green check, that it's available offline. Okay, now if you start to run out of space in your machine, you can always select things that are kept offline for you and push them back up to cloud only, just by right clicking and choosing free up space. And when I do that, all of those icons change to rotating arrows, just basically pushing any final changes there might be, which in this case there weren't any, and now they're only available online. So this is, this is nice, obviously, because we can, we can keep working if we lose our internet. But what's really cool is you can work with your OneDrive files just right alongside all of your local files. So for example, I may want to pin a folder from my OneDrive to my Quick Access and File Explorer, like maybe monthly reports. I just right click, pin to Quick Access, and I've got one click access through File Explorer to a cloud location. Pretty cool, right? And I can also move files a lot quicker this way. So if you want to you know, basically bulk upload a bunch of files, you can select all of those, do a copy or a cut, go back to that cloud location and paste. Really quick way to move a bunch of files at once. 
Okay, so I did that from a local location to my OneDrive, but you can also move your files around in OneDrive as well. Let's say I just want to drag these three files into that monthly reports folder. So if you prefer to work through File Explorer as opposed to the browser, this may be the best thing for you. <laughs> um, also, if you travel a lot or you're on airplanes without Wi-Fi a lot, uh, this would be a great solution as well to make sure that your work is uninterrupted because you've chosen to have offline availability to important files.